Welcome back. After serving our country, veterans come home and then move on, of course, to the next chapter in their lives. Now, one group is trying to highlight those who have started new and exciting careers and even some companies here in the Tri-State. Joining me now is Matt Damaris, an organizer for the Veteran Entrepreneurs Tour. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Why did you want to showcase, which I think it's a 100% positive thing, why did you want to showcase veteran-owned businesses? Well, my, my father was a veteran, my wife was too. Um, and, you know, I have a buddy, I, I do events at different breweries, um, usually real estate based, but I have a buddy that was a Marine Corps veteran and he said, I want to do something veteran based and we both love 50 West. So once I booked it, I called him up and we just started organizing. It's just a way to, you know, promote local veteran business owners and let people know that they're out there. And how many different businesses are going to be part of this? There's going to be eight at the event on Saturday, and we've got a wide range of folks. We've got a farmer, a barber, a home inspector, a guy that does powder coating, a landlord, um, just a, a wide range of folks. Wide range. Now, this uh, event actually, besides highlighting veteran-owned businesses, entrepreneurs here in our community, it's actually benefiting Operation Honor, which is Correct. an organization that I have actually showcased on the home front segment. And we can show you some of the video here. Uh, they've done a number of things in the community. Uh, this is actually at Flora Hills Cemetery. They took down an old wooden cross and the volunteers from Operation Honor, they paid for it. They cut this beam and, and created this new uh, cross out there. And they also make veteran made burial flag cases, which is a huge component uh, of what they do. And they are the only organization with burial flag cases that are offered at Arlington National Cemetery. Why did you choose Operation That's correct. Honor? Well, when I, when I first started with this idea, we did some research. We, we went to a couple veteran organizations and kind of consulted with them. Mm -hmm. And um, they threw me Joe's name. And they said, you should call this guy up if you're looking for a local nonprofit. He's really awesome. And we went down there and visited his shop, and it was amazing, man. I mean, I was really blown away by those guys. They're, they do cool stuff down there. Doing a lot of work, of course, uh, in, in northern Kentucky, Pendleton, yep. Grant County, and that. So uh, donating a dollar for each pint purchased during this event. So, uh, of course, encouraging people to come down. As yeah, many have a drink. Can. So here are the details. The event's going to be at 50 West Brewery. Uh, that's on Worcester Pike, Saturday, October 19th, 1 to 4 p.m. Matt Tamaris, thank you so much for spreading the word and uh, supporting local bets. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, let's talk about the weather situation outside. Of course, uh, this will be an indoor event, Steve, but it's still going to be over, well, you know, pretty nice on, on Saturday, don't you? Yeah, you know, that facility out there, though, has some really nice outdoor uh, kind of uh, uh, volleyball courts as well. If I'm right on this, I'm pretty sure down it that way. And as a result, it'll turn out to be a great afternoon for that if folks want to enjoy some of that. Now, uh, let me show you what's uh, happening across the tri-state right now. We're looking at a lot of clouds, even a couple light showers showing up out here by Hillsborough down through West Union with temperatures in the 40s. You'll see over the past hour, We've had this little disturbance over the top of us, and now it's rolling through, tracking a couple of showers, but really most folks are dry right at the moment. It's the clouds that will be around here for the next few hours ahead. Then as we head closer to the overnight, and it looks like we'll start clearing out. So tomorrow for your Thursday, plenty of sunshine. That's nice, but we are going to see winds coming in out of the northwest again, and that's going to mean temperatures much cooler than average. We're going to be running at about 10 degrees. In fact, colder than average tomorrow. We'll start off cold in the 30s, only make it into the 50s. So almost still an early winter kind of day showing up for the tri-state. But as we head through the week, there's going to be a change of pace on Friday. Friday will be the transition day for us as we start to see the wind shifting back around out of the south and the temperatures will go up. We'll see temperatures into the 60s by Friday and even warmer in the 70s for the weekend. So the event uh, for the veterans will be in good shape. Now, as we look into the weekend here on Saturday, we've got winds that are coming in out of the south, and that's what brings us the 70 degree temperatures both for Saturday and Sunday. For Sunday, though, as we head into Sunday evening, while we're not going to be affected at first, things will be fairly sunny at night. We're going to start to see some clouds move in and by Sunday late and going into Monday, it looks like we're going to have a chance for some rain around here from another cold front moving in out of the west. It looks like that's going to be our next significant chance for any rain until that time. We're really going to stay dry. So starting tomorrow and Friday and Saturday and most of Sunday as well, we're going to see some dry weather. Might be a good day to maybe uh, do a little car wash in here because uh, you'll get a few days out of it. OK, for tonight, if you're just dashing out, well, temperatures are going to stay mostly in the 40s because of all the clouds that are around until we start 
We're seeing that break in the clouds. Uh, the temperatures really won't drop much, but when they do, they'll drop fast. We'll drop into the 30s uh, first thing in the morning, and then we'll only get to the middle 50s in the afternoon. You'll notice across the area anywhere from about 54 to 57 degrees in my forecast for tomorrow afternoon. But on Saturday, here's the story. We're in the low 70s, plenty of sunshine on Sunday. I think we will see some clouds building, maybe even mostly cloudy by the afternoon. Temperatures still, though, in the 70s will make for a delightful weekend around the tri-state. So here's the chilly start for uh, the overnight and tomorrow morning. So if the kids heading out to the bus stop need warmer jacket, something like they had today, really, 39 degrees and then 57 as a high for tomorrow. We're exactly in Cincinnati, 10 degrees below average. Average. 62 on Friday and then 71 and 74 with a night chance and you'll